Hello friends, welcome to the channel, or back to the channel as the case may be. We're continuing our 1001 tarot spreads. Today is spread number 43, which is about finances. Specifically, what debt should I focus on paying off first? We will be using the Heaven and Earth tarot this week. Well, until I feel like switching again. And that being said, let's get into it. So when do you need a spread like this? This four card spread is for when you're having trouble deciding which debt is most important to pay off. It's when you have to decide which bill is being paid and which one is only getting a partial payment. So card number one, as I consult my notes, is what is the main drain on my finances right now? Or what is the most important thing to pay off? Number two, what sources of help are available to me? Number three, what can I do short term to earn more money? Meaning this month, this week, what is something I can do to get a little more cash to help pay off these bills? Number four, how can I prevent this from reoccurring? How can I, what strategy can I employ to get my debts under control? This spread is using only the minor arcana because this is a more earthly problem rather than a spirituality problem. Let's see what the cards have to tell us. Mm, lots of reversals. Okay. So our first card is the Queen of Cups reversed. Second card is the uh, Nine of Swords. Then we have the also reversed. Then we have the Queen of Wands upright and the Queen of Swords reversed. Wow, that's three out of four queens. Alrighty, so card number one being, what is the biggest drain right now? Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups is the queen of the suit of emotions, of water. Normally associated with healing and with being that comforting woman in someone's life or having that comforting feminine energy. Being reversed and being in a spread about finances, you are making emotional financial decisions to try to self-soothe. You need to stop doing that. Instead of buying the things that you think will make you feel better, pay for the things you actually need. Being someone who also self-soothes through shopping which I know is not the most mad. Well, no, it's just men tend to self-soothe by buying different things than women do. Media just tends to say it's a more feminine trait. It, in my experience talking to other people, it's not so much a one gender trait. It's just media likes to show it as uh, women doing the shopping therapy. Men definitely do it too. This is saying stop doing the shopping therapy. Actually buy what you need. Don't get emotional about it. Card number two. What sources are available to help? Um, so that's the Nine of Swords, which this suit actually gives specific words to things. Uh, despair and cruelty. That sounds like you're not going to... Well, it is reversed instead of upright. So that means opposite meaning. Don't despair. There is help. Look at what options are available to you. For example, there might be debt forgiveness programs that you can apply for, or family members who would be willing to help. There are possibly options that you can find if you don't 
allow yourself to be paralyzed by the despair. Card three, the only upright card. How can you earn more money in the short term? We have the Queen of Wands. Wands is the element of fire. Wands is intellectual. It is the academic side of things. Being the queen, this indicates that there is some form of mental type skill that you have high, uh, have achieved a high level of skill in that is marketable. Probably not what you are actively doing for work, but something you have training in that you can do as a consultant or part-time work on the side. Think about what you know how to do and what it is worth. See if there's any short-term gig work in what you are skilled at. Card number four. Card number four. How do we prevent this in the future? We have the Queen of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords. Swords is the suit of, of troubles, of conflict. The queen is typically the person who is of feminine nature, who has mastered her trials. In this case, being reversed in terms of your finances, don't expect perfection, but work towards becoming that, that regal figure. Work on becoming the person who is dedicated and diligent and puts in the little decisions every day. Don't let a single day of poor decisions derail you from your plan. That concludes reading number 43 of our 1001 Tarot readings. If you're enjoying this series, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!